Like, I'm trying to film, Mom. Oh, I'm sorry. Dang. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. It's me, Alana. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> You're all, you are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I'm actually going to do a haul for you all. I got a few books this past month that I would like to share with you all. Some were sent to me, some I bought, and yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in. So the first book I got was You Be Mine by Erin Han. I've actually read this already, and I had the ARC right up actually on this top shelf here behind me. When I saw that the store had this paperback, I was like, ooh, I really want it because I really love what they did with it. It's so pretty. So I was actually just kind of waiting for this to be published, the paperback edition, before I bought it because I do like the way this looks. Next, I have a book that I have been wanting to read for a while. It's a really old story only managed to find it at Books A Million because I believe this was a used book that someone brought into the store and that is A Match Made in High School by Kristen Walker. This is kind of like a matchmaking story almost. Uh, these kids end up taking this test for a class and they get matched up to pretend to be married with like other students and stuff and it's supposed to be funny and interesting so I figured I would give it a chance since it wasn't that expensive and it had been on my list for a while. Next I have Maybe This Time by Casey West. This is kind of about a girl and a guy who go from enemies to lovers, sort of. They both work for businesses that are in the same field or like circles because I think his dad is a chef and whoever she's working for does party planning and so literally there are like specific events throughout this book that they meet up and they just can't stand each other and they slowly develop like a relationship and it's, it sounds really cute and I really enjoy Casey West's writing so I figured this would be a cute book to pick up. The next book I bought was A Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. I loved The Beautiful so I figured it was probably time I should give her other books a chance so that way uh, I can hold myself over while I wait for the third book in The Beautiful Trilogy to come out next year. So I figured uh, this would be a good one to try and I really loved this cover as well. So yeah, I'm really excited. I don't really know what this one is about but I kind of want to jump in without knowing much because it's kind of what I did with the beautiful and I loved it just as much. So I'm hoping I'll like this one as well. Next, I have Blended by Sharon M. Draper. This is about a girl who comes from a biracial family. Um, no, this is about a biracial girl who comes from a mixed family and it's kind of her is dealing with what it means to really be biracial and just dealing with her family and I feel like I would relate to this a lot which is why I bought it because I am mixed and it sounds like she's the same family dynamic that I have so I would just really love to check this out eventually and hopefully I enjoy it. Next I got Scars Like Wings by Erin Stewart. I've been wanting to read this since it came out which is why I justified buying it. So it's about a girl who has a scar. I can't remember where it's from. I believe the story is about her kind of accepting what she looks like and her scars and everything like that and I don't know just finding the beauty within herself uh it sounded really interesting when i first read the synopsis honestly it really hit me and i was like i really want to read that so i'm finally glad i got my hands on it and hopefully i can read it sooner rather than later and the next book i have is the disasters by pc and Kristen cass they wrote the house of night series which is one of those like series where like this is trash but it's like entertaining trash so that's why i bought this because i feel like it's probably going to be along the same lines of trash but entertaining trash so uh 
that's basically why I bought this. <laughs> Next, I have uh, Fangs by Sarah Anderson. She does the Sarah Scribbles graphic novels, and so she came out with another gra graphic novel, and it's a love story between a vampire and a werewolf. I bought this in October, so it just gave me the spooky vibes I wanted for October, so I'm really excited that I got my hands on this. It just looks really adorable, and I love that it's red and then the pages are black. It just gives the whole vibe. It's adorable. Like here, so if you look at this, so like she gives him his, her like book of like body counts and then um, she, he's like, oh, are these your past lovers? And she's like, no, these are my victims. I killed them all in like pride, like she's showing off. And then at the end, he's just like fist bump. And I'm like, that's freaking cute. I love that. Not condoning murder, but I love the support, you know? So I'm definitely excited to have this. And the last book I bought, but not the last book in this haul, is the Fangirl graphic novel. I really enjoyed Fangirl when I read it, so I kind of was excited when I saw that it was a graphic novel slash manga. Actually, I think this is a manga. And I just couldn't resist getting it because, like, this is so cute, honestly, and... Just seeing it illustrated is kind of adorable too, so I'm really excited. And then the last few books here I had that I was sent by to Simon Teen, so thank you to them for sending this to me. So the first book I have is the graphic novel version of Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. I'm actually excited to have this because I haven't read A Long Way Down yet, and so I feel like I'm going to really enjoy this graphic novel now, and I can check it out with fresh eyes. And I'm sure it's going to be really good because I've heard so many good things about Jason Reynolds and his books in general. The next book that was sent was Shine by Jessica Jung. I'm really excited because I've seen all the hype for this going around. I know it's like a K-pop affiliated book, so I'm definitely intrigued to check it out and see how I like it. I haven't really read a lot of books that are surrounded or incorporate K-pop, so I'm definitely intrigued. Next, I have Daughters of Jubilation by Kara Lee Corthron. Corthron? I am actually really excited for this. One, the cover is gorgeous. I really love that. But also, it sounds really interesting. It's about a girl who lives in, Jim, in the Jim Crow South, and she ends up going through a jubilation, which is like a not ceremony but it's almost like a coming of age moment where she gets her family's like magical abilities it just sounds really good and i'm really really intrigued to see how it's done i really like books that incorporate like generational magic or family or and stuff like that i don't know i just it's so intriguing especially when it's black uh characters because it's so hard to connect to your family generations as a black person in America. So I find those stories interesting where characters can, if that makes sense. And the last book is Tithe, Tith, Tithe. Aaron was making fun of me because I was saying this wrong and I don't even remember which is the right way, which is the wrong way. I'm so sorry. By Holly Black. I. I'm gonna be honest, I think I tried reading a Holly Black book years ago, didn't really enjoy it because fairies aren't really my thing, but this cover is just so pretty that I might just go ahead and give her a second chance because how can I resist this cover? It's all white, like, and the butterfly, or is that a moth, and the thorns, like, can't resist, so might be giving Holly back another chance then. So that is my haul for you all. I am definitely trying to cut back on buying things. It's a work in progress, obviously, but we are working on it. If you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, please leave all that in the comment section. If you're not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all simple hearts in the world full of weeds.